Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a species profile on the coral red pencil fish as you can see on the screen. I'm gonna insert the Latin name because I mean who, who, can, who can pronounce that? Alright, anyways, so this is a medium difficult fish to keep because it's quite sensitive and it also needs very spe specific water parameters. And for some, these parameters can be quite hard to keep. I'm gonna come back to them. Uh, but I mean, look at him. He's so beautiful, even though he has turned his back on the camera. All right, so these fishes are from Peru, living in mainly swampy, highly vegetated areas with a lot of submerged wood and leaf litter. So they will enjoy tannins. The waters, as I said, would need to keep quite specific parameters, so it will need to be soft acidic water, with a pH from 4 to maximum 7. Do not pass the 7 mark on these ones. The temperatures will need to be between 24 to 28 degrees, so keep it warm, people. The size on the fish will range from 2.5 centimeters to a maximum 3-4 centimeters long. And as you can see, the difference in the female and the male is that the female is smaller and has more of a blush pink color, while the male is very colored and very red. And he's a little bit bigger and also the patterns on the fins will differ a little bit, but I'm not gonna go into that because it's something you will almost never ever see. So, they are omnivores, meaning they eat plants and live foods. They will need to be kept in a mature aquarium for them to be able to eat both plankton and algae or yeah, whatever that's floating around. And also you will need to feed them quite high quality food of maybe frozen brine shrimp or something. They will enjoy that a lot. They are a fish that will stay in the mid section of the aquarium. And I'm just gonna warn you, they are quite aggressive. These fishes, if you want to see their natural behavior, you will have to keep uh, maybe a group of 10 or more to see their natural behavior. However, you cannot just put 10 of those together in a 60 liter tank. It's the, a 60 liter is the minimum and I would never ever keep a group of 10 of them in them. They are very aggressive as I said, so the males will chase each other to death. and. Therefore, you will need to keep mostly females in the tank and maybe if you have a group of 10, maybe two or three males at maximum. And you will need to break up the site in the aquarium by using plants. The fish will also enjoy low circulation and could easily be kept with just a sponge filter. However, I'm keeping them with a normal filter and at a I would say moderate circulation and they seem to be fine with it. Just don't basically blast them away in your tank. Uh, if you're interesting, interested in spawning these, they're quite hard and you will see on my channel I do a lot of videos on that because it's quite hard. These fishes are not easily kept in a community aquarium where you have several types of fishes because they will be little bit difficult to be fed because they will not be the first fish to come to you when you're feeding them they will be like in the second line so you will need the food to actually go down to the mid or the bottom of the aquarium and basically they will need to move as well they will enjoy hunting their food and if you keep them with different kind of tetras for instance they would be quite fast <laughs> to eat their food and you will need to feed the aquarium quite well for them to actually be able to get some food. And there's also something I need to address. These fishes are not shrimp safe. They are known for having a tiny, tiny, tiny mouth, and they do, but they will eat those shrimps. And especially the shrimp babies, they will just enjoy eating that as a cool snack. So do not keep this with with fish fry or with shrimps because it's not gonna go too well they enjoy hunting their food so like this video give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next one bye